Hi there, this is Business with Dave. In this video, I'll be giving you five useful marketing tips to improve your sales for your street food business. But before I jump into this video, I wanna thank everyone who has subscribed to the channel. You guys are all awesome. And if you haven't already, do subscribe at the end of this video. It'd be much appreciated. But yeah, let's jump straight into this video. So number one, you wanna have a good old go at the social media marketing push. So this is where you wanna be posting more photos, having great captions, inviting people in to leave comments, creating reels, creating videos. It's a whole different workload in this in itself. It's like a whole full-time job, but when you think about the potential reach for new customers and branching out, social media is such a great way. It's a free way in order to reach as many people as possible because it connects with so many different people in so many different places. You could also have ads, paid ads as well, so that could reach out to more people. So then hopefully you could build up already a good customer base already and a product range and good profile and then you could reach out to more customers. But social media push, that's always a good way in order to get more customers, more newer customers to know what your business is all about. So do give that some consideration and just use some of the free stuff, which is posting more photos, creating videos, for your Instagram or your YouTube or Facebook or Twitter. The second is to offer deals. So this is like offers and just giving customers more reasons to come to your business and give your business a try or those who are already existing customers to try something new. So this could be limited edition products or like items or just toppings and stuff depending on what you're selling in terms of your food offering. But being able to incentivize customers and giving a good deal out and reaching out to newer customers who maybe have never considered giving you a try but probably will because you have this great offer on show, that's what it's all about really. So if you could maybe give maybe a free gift or have free samples or deals where it's like two for one or two for half price and it really depends on what food you're doing because there's so many things you can offer to customers and offer that with value, but it's low cost for you, but it gives so much value to your customers. This is where the deals come in. So it could be meal deals or just offers in general, but being able to capture those customers and create those sales as well. Hopefully if you they are impressed with what you're doing, your product you're selling, your service, then they'll keep coming back anyways, but it's to entice those customers to come in to your shop or your to order from your home business as well. So if you do a food business from home, you wanna be able to branch out to as many piece of people. So in order to do that, you just need to get those marketing employees in in place so then you can reach out to as many people. The third thing is to have a loyalty scheme. So this is really old, love this kind of method because it encourages repeat business. And I think if you have those cards, you print out your own cards, and have stamps and will have points as well. Lots of people have digital loyalty cards as well, which is okay, but I prefer to have the paper one just so that people can put it in their wallets. They know they have your contact details and they know what you're all about. And they just say, oh, I remember these guys. And it's a physical thing. When you have a digital, sometimes you could lose it if there's an update or a download or change your phone. It's not as stable. But again, this is about encouraging repeat business and encouraging existing customers to keep coming back in order to get free stuff along the way. So it could be four stamps to get like a free starter, eight stamps to get a free meal, or just like four, three stamps for a free drink and like eight stamps for a free starter and 12 stamps for a free meal, anything like that, just in order to offer an incentive really to already satisfy customers, happy customers, and hopefully they could also benefit from discounts or just like free food. No one will ever disagree that they don't love free food. So do encourage people to be coming in, getting stamps and giving them that sense of achievement and reward once they get to it. You'd be like, congratulations. Thank you so much for all the support because every time a customer completes a card, if it's like 12 stamps, it means that they came 12 times to your business. A lot of the times people don't come once or twice to a single business anyways. They just rotate to lots of many businesses, trying different, lots of different places. But for them to keep coming back and to 
be here 12 times, they deserve an award. So that's where the loyalty scheme comes into place and something that you should definitely consider because retaining customers is a lot cheaper than finding new customers. And I think it's best if you could retain your existing customers and then they're happy that could expand to more customers as they tell more people about you. So do keep that in mind. A good loyalty scheme is good because it just incentivizes people to come more often and not to come to you because you get more benefits from someone else. The fourth thing is flyering and this is literally if you have a home business or a cafe or restaurant, you want to be able to just grab customers from the locally as well. They're accessible to you and if you need to deliver, you can deliver locally as well. But flyering, just making sure that people know who you are, what you sell, what your brand is all about, whether you sell ethically sourced food or mom's home cooking or homemade stuff, just stuff like that that people won't otherwise know if you don't already let them know. So do go about getting your word out, having flyers, having your menu on it, or having a special deal as well. These are all great things in order to get people excited. Be like, oh, there's a new kind of like homemade bakery stuff, or there's skincare cream stuff like that. And it's all been made locally. People love supporting local businesses. So do fly around either to local residents or local businesses as well. People love that community support as well. So do fly around. You really never know where your customers, next customers will come from. So the more reach you have, especially locally, that is always really good because it just saves so much time sending it through post to different parts of the country or to different countries where you could sell most of it locally as well. Locally sourced, locally produced, homemade. These are all good USPs that you could be playing on. So do pay attention to flyering to local areas. And my fifth and final point is to create those raving fans. And this is probably the most cost effective. There's literally no cost involved in this. And for those who don't know, raving fans are customers who are so happy with your service, your products that they tell their friends and family about you. And it's that whole positive word of mouth is free is people encouraging and people recommending you to other people. And I think that's the best kind of advertising because ultimately it's free for you and people doing it out of the kindness of their hearts to recommend their friends and family because they know that what you're doing is really good and making such a good impact that they want to tell their friends and family. And that overall is just so positive. And ultimately you want people to you don't want to be nagging people, encouraging people to be like, yes, tell your friends and family. If they could just do it themselves, that's golden. You don't need to do anything. You don't need to put in marketing money. You don't need to encourage people to give you reviews because people are already doing it themselves. They want to support a good business. And if you get to know your customers as well, you build that rapport, that relationship, that's all important into generating that repeat customer base, repeat business and people who are satisfied with the stuff they get, they're just going to encourage it to their friends and family anyway. So it's just a given, it's just human nature. So if you can do well in that sense, good quality food, good quality service, and just getting to know your customers and building that customer loyalty. These are all the things that will snowball, snowball into a wider range of customers who are from different parts of maybe the country coming in, visiting you and just supporting you as well. So creating those raving fans are so important. You don't need to force it. Just do what you do really well. And it just happens really, because ultimately if you don't do well, they're not going to talk about you. They probably won't even come back again. So if they keep coming back, you're doing something right. If customers are saying, yes, my neighbors recommended you guys and I thought I'd give you a try, then it means that it's working. Or I've tried this place a couple of times and you guys do the best soups, the best sandwiches, and that's positive feedback. You're clearly doing something right. So do pay attention to that. Do focus on creating those raving fans and just doing what you're doing really well and the customers will come anyway. So 
do focus on your attention on that because a lot of the time a lot of this the points above you need money this last point you don't really need money you just do what you need to do and just the old-fashioned way word of mouth will get around very quickly if there's a good place serving good value food just healthy food as well potentially and it satisfies a lot of the human needs really so hopefully you found this video useful if you did like this video and consider subscribing to the channel i've been business with dave and i'll see you next video take care